COVID biases, exponential growth and phylogeny. There have been false explanations of the coronavirus pandemic. These false accounts are based on biases. For example, seems like so-called experts just cannot make up their minds. A major scientific paper has published an article that claims that the coronavirus came from outer space. After all, how else would one explain how rapidly the virus spread around the world? In fact, the article claims that pandemics in general come from meteor dust. A more conventional understanding is that the planet is now highly interconnected, globalized and populated, and that contagious respiratory diseases tend to be especially infectious. The paper seems to confirm the existence of the exponential growth bias even among scientists. Most people just cannot comprehend that growth is sometimes geometric and multiplicative, not just arithmetic and additive. They fail to recognize the power and glory of compound interest and its evil twin, inflation. There have also been attempts to identify the factors that explain why certain countries have responded to the pandemic with varying levels of success. For example, it has been claimed that countries led by women have had better outcomes because women are more empathetic. It could be that countries that have women leaders tend to be more economically developed and educated. Attributing success to female leaders is thus reversing the causal relationship, the tail wagging the dog. Also, it could be that the kind of women who rise through the political ranks have a background in science. Angela Merkel and Margaret Thatcher were scientists. So is Frauke Petri, the head of the extreme nationalist alternative for Germany, UFT. Those who know Petri describe her as being remarkably similar to Merkel in her ambition, pragmatism and absence of beliefs or idealism. These three women are and were leaders of conservative parties. They were and are German and English, respectively. Conservative elite Germanic language politicians with science PhDs do not fit the profile of people who exude warmth and empathy. Also, maternal instincts do not always translate into empathy. In fact, quite the contrary. When the coronavirus re-emerged in New Zealand soon after it was first vanquished, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern held a press conference. She walked to the podium, said that two people have been infected and this is unacceptable and that she was putting the military in charge of quarantine, and then she walked away. It was a Golda Meir moment.